how's it going it's all the news all the time and there's some breaking news today which i think is amazing and we've got uh, johnny depp is going to direct his first film in 25 years so we've got al pacino is co-producing it and it's called mogdigliani or modigliani um it's a biopic about the italian artist so uh, very interesting we've got barry navidi also co-produces the feature which marks the star's first feature as a director since the brave film starring himself and marlon brando this came out today very interesting news indeed uh johnny depp it seems has lined up his first film uh directing gig in 25 years this is from the hollywood reporter quarter of a century after he directed himself and marlon brando in the brave uh, his feature directorial debut that was back in 1997 so he's going behind it behind the camera for modigliani modigliani can't say it properly modigliani about the italian artist amadeo amadeo modigliani amadeo modigliani yes that's what i'm going to go with <laughs> i'm sticking with that that's the pronunciation i'm going with today Amadeo Modigliani. If you are Italian, do let me know uh, in the comments how to pronounce this properly. I'm going with Amadeo Modigliani. So let's have a little look at uh, this guy. Amadeo Modigliani. This is the Wikipedia article for him. He was an Italian painter, uh, born in 1884, died in January 1920. And um, let's have a look at some of these paintings. Um, let's have a little look at this one. Um, honestly, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know enough about art, but it kind of... Uh, okay, I'm just, just going to be straightforward and honest. It looks badly drawn. It looks badly drawn. I can't, I can't be sitting here saying this looks like well-drawn stuff. Because I can draw. I can draw things. I can make them look like they're meant to look like. Oh my god. Um, well, she's unfortunate looking, to be honest. Let's have a little look at another one. And I've got, honestly, I've got the same problem. It's. It just looks like someone can't draw properly. I know people are going to be shouting at the screen saying, I don't understand art, and art is about the perspective of the reality of the the human condition and so forth and so on right um it looks like a badly drawn orange face uh, <laughs> and is, is it me is it it's me isn't it it's me it reminds me of uh, the emperor's new clothes you know because everyone else is saying oh you don't understand you've got to understand the the symbolism and stuff and i'm like really it just looks like a badly drawn picture and they're like no you just you're a philistine you don't understand these things you just you know you just got to understand more right anyway i'm sure uh johnny depp is going to explain everything and i'll get a greater understanding of amadeo modigliani and art in general and i will be better for it <laughs> possibly <laughs> maybe uh, it's going to co-produce uh, that's, he's going to co-produce alongside Al Pacino wow and Barry Navidi uh, it's based on a play by Dennis McIntyre and adapted for the screen by Jersey Jersey okay and Mary Kromolovsky the film will tell the story of the painter and sculptor oh he does sculpting as well in Paris in 1916 long considered by himself a critical and commercial failure you're not wrong Modigliani <laughs> navigates a turbulent and uneventful uh, 48 hours that will become a turning point in his life ultimately solidifying his reputation as an artistic legend right that's a bit generous THR the Hollywood reporter understands that production is set to start in Europe in the spring of 2023 with casting to be revealed shortly wow that could be interesting to get involved with if you know anybody who's in that world and wants to try and get cast for that it would be amazing the uh, saga of Mr. Modigliani's life is one that I'm incredibly honoured and truly humbled to bring to the screen says Johnny Depp who produces for IN2 the European arm of his production company which is Infinitum Nihil that's the US version 
It was a life of great hardship, but eventual triumph. Oh, excellent. A universally human story all viewers can identify with. Brilliant. So, yeah, very interesting. Apart from my uh, my uh, sort of uh, philistine and uh, unappreciation of art, I'm sure it's going to be great. Mogdiliani marks another European project for Depp as he tries to make a career return following his recent and bruising defamation trial against his ex-wife. Here she is. The uh, star of the Pirates of the Caribbean franchise won, yes he did, a 50 million defamation trial against her earlier this year. In an op-head for the Washington Post in 2018, she described her experiences, yes we know all that stuff, la da 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 da. The jury eventually found in his favour, yes they did, unanimously and awarded the actor $10 million. We should never forget that bit. While uh, this person won only one of her countersuit claims and was awarded $2 million. So if we do a quick bit of maths, 10 minus 2. Uh, AH is now set to lodge an appeal. Uh, no, AH has already lodged an appeal and Johnny Depp has counter-appealed already and has revamped her legal team. <laughs> it needed to be revamped ahead of the move. Uh, alongside the Modigliani biopic, is that biopic or biopic? Uh, biopic, biopic. Uh, leave a note in your comments because uh, I can't pronounce things as you've uh, already found out. Uh, alongside the Mogdigliani biopic, biopic, Depp is also playing King Louis XV in a French uh, director, Maiwen, a historical love story, Jeanne de Barry, which has started shooting in late July and is Depp's first feature film in three years. Yes, it is, and it looks amazing. And uh, we've seen some promotional shots of that already. We have seen some shots in uh, Versailles. And there's some story that it's in a Paris street, or that was shooting for the Duke of Richelieu. But uh, there's also some question about that as well. So I don't know whether they're actually shooting in that side street or whether that's a, um, a red herring or what. But um, yeah. So the film also marks the next collaboration between Al Pacino and Navidi, who have previously worked together on features including The Merchant of Venice, uh, which is this. Merchant of Venice 2004, classic. Look at that, doesn't that look beautiful? Italy is so nice, such a nice place. Um, so yeah, and uh, he also worked together on a film called Wild Salome, which is uh, this, which is this, Wild Salome. I was wondering how you pronounce that word. Salome, also Salome. Right. Salome or Salome. So you have wild Salome or Salome. And uh, you can pronounce it either way, it seems. And he also collaborated on Salome on its own, 2013. Which is... And this is the Salome 2013 film. Quite a strange little story here. Um, Salome is a 2013 American drama film, but it's edited from the previous 2011 film, Wild Salome. So that film, it seems, was re-edited, and uh, the narrative and drama elements of the first film were put together and made into this film. I've never heard of such a thing, but there you go. So these will be both produced uh, alongside IN2 and with uh, Johnny Depp. So this is all very interesting. This project has been very close to Al Pacino's heart. Al introduced me to the play Modigliani many years ago and I instantly fell in love with it, says Navidi. This is a slice of Modi's life and not a bio. It's been a dream of mine to work with Johnny again. He's a true artist, he is actually, with an amazing vision to bring this great story to the screen. Although he's best known for his on-screen roles, uh, Johnny Depp has produced 10 films already, including 2011's Hugo and most recently 2020's Croc of Gold, a few rounds with Shane McGowan. So you're very interesting. We've got Johnny Depp producing uh, and directing first movie in 25 years with some legendary people. Al Pacino, and it's going to be Modigliani about this Italian artist who, uh, frankly, is beyond my understanding of, of art. And uh, But there you go. 
<laughs> uh, let me know in the comments what you think and um, I still I still don't get it I still don't get it um, is it something to do with it many times I go to these art galleries and the story next to the painting is more important than the painting itself and that makes me nervous I'm thinking it's not really about the art it's about some sort of political statement or it's some sort of understanding that I have to have I don't know I do not know. let me know in the comments you can uh, you can berate me for my lack of uh, culture and understanding of these things but it looks like a badly drawn picture to me it really does so yeah let me know in the picture in the comments and uh, like and subscribe if you uh, fancy doing that and um, I think that's about it but brilliant news uh, Johnny Depp is directing a new film he's starring in a new film brilliant okay I will catch you guys later <laughs>